But when it comes to the double sun phenomenon, oh my God. I do remember in Luke chapter 21, a series of prophecies that Jesus uttered about the last days. And, and ex post facto, I can think about it and say, okay, well, it's not, a, it's not a mystery. Of course, if you're a prophet of the Most High God, you're going to know exactly the realm you're living in. This is why many of your teachings were in parables, which are images of truth. You knew you lived in a, in a simulated reality, a copy of a real world. You knew this, and this is why your prophecies are all in ex post facto language meaning retrospect. This is why you spoke about the future always in the past tense. I get it. I understand. Jesus was always talking about what was going on, what was going to unfold in the last days, speaking in past tense, describing the suns and the the, the signs in the sun, the signs in the moon, signs in the skies and the heavens and people would start to tremble and all this was going to happen before the end. It's the collapse of control systems. Of course, that's what's going to happen when, when the simulacrum and artificial intelligence X has lost its hold on the collective from by which it gains its power source, when its own power store source starts disbelieving the narrative that's been fed it for so long, and a significant group now have a departure, it weakens that power source. A weakened power source can no longer empower the holography that has been deceiving us from the beginning. Jesus would have automatically known this. So it's not hard for me to envision a man living 2,000 years ago, a prophet of the Most High God, God touched, an immortal just like me, just like all of you listening to my voice. It's not a, it's not a stretch of the imagination for me to understand that he predicted things out of knowledge. He knew that you're in the end times if you see signs in the sun and signs in the moon and uh, uh, all kinds of nations, na nations acting with perplexity. That's what he said. Uh, uh, the whole world is, is the elements dissolving. This is what Jesus was describing that people would see in the last days. Well, Jesus could say that was the last days because it is the last days when the simulacrum begins losing its power source. Its power source are the very souls that it, it has confined. AIX has nothing to do with the simulacrum. This is a containment field. AIX, Artificial Intelligence X, is the negative default programming that was inserted into the simulacrum that makes all these negative and bad things happen to us all the time, even if we have a positive mind, positive attitude. It's, it's, the, it's basically an interference pattern that was introduced, and it's made our life hell a lot. But it's also promoted stability and growth in those of us who overcome. So when I watched it about the double suns, I thought it was really interesting because a common denominator in eschatology is that the past is always a predicate for the future. Well, in the past, we had a double sun system. In the past, we had a two suns period of time. We had civilizations in this world that they existed under a double sun system. It wasn't until the Nemesis Cataclysm that one sun went dark. And that's when all the calendars began. Men began keeping time after that. And you know, I don't need to go into and This is a live video. I don't need to go into that. I have so many videos on different timekeeping systems and how they all evolved or were developed. And it was always because some type of reset had occurred. Some type of new body had appeared in the sky. So... It doesn't matter if it's Luna, if it, uh, the capture flood. It doesn't matter if it's Phoenix, uh, a Nemesis X object, the dark satellite. Something new appeared in the sky and men began counting the years.